Hey guys, today I am doing a review for Tioni. She asked about the MAC Sculptin shape and it looks like this. And it's just two colors, a darker color and then a highlight color. And this one is an accentuate. And right now I only have it on half my face. You can sort of tell that it is like shadows. It's for creating like cheekbones. So it shadows underneath your cheekbone to make it look like your cheekbones are higher and like your face is a little bit um, like defined or skinnier. So I've done this side and then I'm going to show you how I just did this side, okay? So I am just using a angled contour brush. You can use any brush you'd like and you're just going to take it and just rub it into the dark. And it is going to be really dark but it's okay because you're going to blend it out. So we have a lot of the dark right here. And what you're gonna do, either you can make a fishy face by sucking your lip, like your lips in like, like that. Or you can just like move your like lips and your jaw to the opposite side. So you'll just do like this. Kind of like that. And that kind of pulls and shows you where your cheekbone is. So I just, um, I suck my lips in together. And so what you're going to do, you're going to start up here at your temple. Well, not your temple, your temple's right here. You're going to start up here underneath your cheekbone. You can feel where it's at. And just set that there. And draw down. Okay, so now you can see that I have this really dark line. Now you can leave it like that if you want to. I'm just kidding. No, don't leave it like that. Please don't. So that's what you do. So now that you have that, it's off your brush now. So you're not going to use any more unless you really want to. You're going to take it and you're just going to buff it in really slowly and it's going to go in right underneath your cheekbone. So make that silly face. And then take it and push it up into your hairline so it doesn't look silly. Now see how it's still really dark? You're going to take it and now since it's pushed in you can swirl your brush going up and down your cheek. See and now that it's blended in really nicely, now it just gives you the illusion that your cheekbones are just going straight down. To use this highlight part, you can take your brush, and it doesn't matter it's, if it still has stuff on it, I just use the opposite end, and it is going to be really white, like that. This you are going to put on top of your cheekbone, like where your eye, like the eye bone is right here, and you're going to put it in like a C, like this. So you're going to put it here, in here. I'm not sure if you can, I don't want to make it too bright, but if you can see like where it's at like that. You can also take like your ring finger and dip it in and draw. Okay, so can you see that? How's like that? And then just take your brush and blend it in. And then that just makes your cheekbones just be like highlighted now. So now it's just like when the sun hits it, it's like, oh, there it is. <laughs> um, then you can take, excuse me, you can take like your blush and then same idea or same thing you're going to do. I'm going to get my blush brush. Crap, if I can open this. open things lately. So you'll just take like your blush and swirl your brush in there. I'm just using a small brush. Now since you've already done your line here and you have your highlight here, you're going to go right in the center and you're still going to go down in an angle. I don't know if you can see that color. So you have your dark 
your light, and then your cheek color. Um, and you'll just take that and you'll just blend it in. Now you can see like there, I forgot to put some on this side, but whatever. Okay, so now that you have this color and this color, you're going to take a kabuki brush or um, any brush you want to just like like rub really good and like blend these three together. So you start in the middle and just like push, not push, blend, sorry. So like that. Another thing that you can use your Sculpt and Shape powder for is contouring other parts of your face. Let me find... Here it is. No, it's not. Where is it? I just take a fluffy brush and take the edge of it and dip it in your dark, your darkest color, so you have it on the side of your brush. You can contour your nose to make your nose look a little smaller, or if you just want it to be like more defined, take the brush and again draw a straight line down. You can see that. And then on the same side. So now this part is lighter. Take your brush with the tip of your brush, it's going to have the highlight, and bring that straight down the center of your nose. Okay? Take your kabuki, blend those two in, and then it makes your nose look like it's thinner. You guys can see. Another thing I like to do with my highlight powder. I like to take it, and I just use my finger, sometimes you don't need to brush this, it doesn't matter, to highlight above your eyebrow. Highlighting above your eyebrow, it makes you look like kind of like younger, because they always say if you do your eyebrows, it makes you 10 years younger, so just kind of think of it that way. So having a highlight on them, like on top and underneath, it just makes your eyebrows just pop and you just look like young and just like fresh. So I've already got it on my finger and you just like go around it and then if you want you can take your kabuki and like sweep it over. But it just kind of like pulls your eyebrow up, just makes it nice. So it is pretty versatile which is nice. You can do whatever with it, but I hope this helps. Um, I was a little nervous using it, I was thinking holy crap that color is not my color at all. But it will be dark until you just buff it in and blend it. I mean, if you need to, put a finishing powder over on top also. Excuse me. That way, it's not as dark. But be sure to do your highlight color last. Because then it just like gives you that, just that little glow, which is really nice. So, again, I hope this helps you. And have a great day.